There we go. Beautiful. Start. All right. Bye, dead guy. Go do some stuff. Hello. Welcome to the game. If you can call it that, push the button. Here's where I should probably make introductions. Explain how things work. You know how it is. Push the button. But you seem smart. Push the button. I'm sure you can figure it out for yourself. Push the button. Why do you make me push the button? Why don't you just type out everything in the box? Why don't you just fill the whole box? I'll read it in my own time. Not make me push the fucking button between every fucking little, little snippet of a fucking sentence you want to slowly fucking feed to me. I'm way calmer now that I have a cat. Maybe not. Push the button. For keyboards, use the arrow keys to move. Push the button. To confirm or interact with objects, press space or Z. Push the button. To cancel or open the menu, it's escape or X. Push the button. And if you want to use your current item, try shift. Push the button. Using a gamepad, try the control stick to move. Push the button. To confirm or interact with objects, press A. Push the button. To open the menu, it's Y. To cancel, it's B. Push the button. If you want to use your current item, try X. Push the button. You can also rudely skip through dialogue by holding down page down on a keyboard or RB on a gamepad. Push the button. Oh, and you can toggle the screen between windowed and full screen mode by pressing F4. Press the button. Honestly, that was pretty exhausting. Push the button. You better have remembered all that. I'm not telling you again. Push the button. Anyway, it's XX, XX o'clock. Push the button. Get out of bed. Push the button. I'm not mad about pushing the button. I'm mad about pushing the button unnecessarily like 50 fucking times in a row. Come on then, push the button. It's time to get up, push the button. Or not, push the button. You can always stay in bed, I suppose. If that's what you really want, push the button. So what will it be? Snooze, go fuck yourself. And you're talking. Okay, push the button. Change your mind, just press press A to get started. Surely you can't stay in bed forever. Oh, I bet I can. Push the button. Oh dear, the shelf collapsed. All that heavy wood crushed your spine completely. Push the button. It always was a bit wobbly. Push the button. You probably should have fixed that by now. Push the button. You probably should have got out of bed by now too. Push the button. But don't worry, push the button. Try again tomorrow, push the button. Whoops, you're dead. Ooh. Hint, get out of bed. This is fucking terrible! Alright, alright, alright. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> yeah, that wasn't so hard, was it? I want to get changed. Put some proper clothes on, maybe a pair of shoes. Something a bit less sweaty. Yeah? Yeah, kitty? A bit less sweaty. All right, go down, like, sit a little lower right there. You can lay right there. Good, good kitty, well behaved. No? You were going to go play with some chords? All right, great. All right, busy day ahead. All right, bed, there's a lump on the mattress. Uh-huh. Your pajamas are comfortable, but not exactly practical. Get changed? Yes. If we didn't, will we die again? Yeah, that's better. Much more presentable. Your hair needs brushing, but you need a hairbrush. You should probably have a bite to eat, too. You look malnourished. And wash your fucking face. Man, this is like me talking to Moon. Also, your breast stinks. See what I mean? The list is endless, really. You don't seem to take very good care of yourself, Moon. But congratulations on getting dressed at least. Anyway, hurry up. I have a busy day ahead and it's already getting late. Head outside and get some fresh air. Dirty clothes. The smell is not good. Bottom drawer is empty. The top one is jammed shut. Something inside must be blocking the mechanism. 
Hello, cat. Would you like to come and sit on my lap? No? You gonna run away? Okay, good. Nothing on the computer. But you are trying to beat your high score on Battle Kittens 4 Super 4s. Yes, play the video games. Are you kidding? I want to play Battle Kittens 4. I don't have a climbing thing, no. Nine hours later. <laughs> you didn't beat your high score. Motherfucker. Let's rummage through the bin. Congratulations. You found more rubbish. Would you like to take some with you? Yes. Really? Yes. Fine. Whatever you need. I'm sure it will come in handy eventually. Obtained rubbish! Woo! Rubbish hype? Can we go faster? Fucking items. Rubbish. I can use the rubbish. That's odd. The door is locked. You remember seeing a key around here somewhere. Have a look around. Maybe you could dig it out. Use the rubbish. It's not in the hamper. Let's make the bed. Where do you find all these weird ass games? Well, hey, I wanted to make the bed. I need the bed through several layers of dust and hair. There's a small metal key. You're not sure how it got there. We got the key. Every game we're playing today was given to me on key mailer by the publishers of the games. Yes, I know how to use items, you fuck. This is a brand new... Brand new Steam game. Brand new Steam game. All of a sudden the light bulb explodes. Countless shards of red hot glass shred your face. You were totally blinded and spend the next few hours bleeding to death in agony. It must have been a power surge or something. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Get dead. Hint. Electricity is dangerous. Something is written on the notepad, but we can't see because we turned off the goddamn... All right. Stench coming from the toilet is overpowering, but unfamiliar. Some kind of rot? The toilet bowl is a lot deeper than it should be. It just goes on and on. There's something trapped further down, but it's hard to see through all the dark, murky liquid. Reach inside? Yep. You reach in as far as you possibly can until the disgusting toilet fluid reaches past your shoulder. Your arm is just about long enough to grab hold of something. It feels like some sort of long plastic tube, but it's stuck tight. You don't know how much more of this you could take. It stinks so much you're starting to feel dizzy. Keep pulling anyway. Pull it hard. <laughs> Obtain plunger. By the way, you will never get that smell out of your head. You might want to take a shower at three. Something shattered the mirror, so cracked and filthy that you can't see a reflection. Although I suppose that might not be such a bad thing. I mean, let's be honest. You're not good looking. It's 
It's an old looking photograph. You don't remember what it's from or what it's of. Is that a face? The bathtub is thick with damp grime. Looks like it hasn't been used for an embarrassing number of days. The plug's missing, but there's still a shallow pool of black liquid at the bottom. And for some reason, there's a screwdriver wedged inside the shower head. You're no plumber, but you get the feeling that it's not supposed to be there. Remove the screwdriver? Yep. Bugs coming out of the shower. No! Help! Oh no! Not the bugs! Use the rubbish! I don't want to die to bugs! Use the plunger. Before long, the room is completely filled with insects. They crawl all over you, inside and out. You're not sure what these things are, but they manage to strip your skeleton bare in minutes. Holy fuck. It's pretty disgusting. Where's that cat hiding today? The police, they seem to have enjoyed themselves, but don't worry. Try again tomorrow. This is fucking terrible! Whoops, you're dead. This game is called Shut In. Hint, that is a lot of bugs. It's one of them trial and error, disgusting adventure games. You can always try again, though. All right, we gotta figure out how to get the fuck out of here before we get the screwdriver. You're not good looking. What a dickhead. Dive in. <laughs> Looks just like Young Bonger. Oh, man. Welcome into the toilet. Get that plunger out of there. Pull it hard. the plunger on the fucking toilet I mean that would make sense right no plunger on the bathtub door handle hype First, let's get the screwdriver. Kingsville is called a doom clone? Doom with a sword? That's hilarious. back in there again. It's a good thing you already turned off the power because sticking metal objects into plug sockets is it's usually the brightest idea. Did 
there anything else I could use here? The plunger? Old toys and pictures. Staircase have been torn to pieces. The darkness is thick here. You can't see the bottom. Get down there for too long makes you feel sick. You don't remember how it happened. You don't even know what's going on in the first place, regardless of the front doors down there. You have to find a way down if you want to go outside. If only there was some way of measuring the distance. Still a jump from this height shouldn't hurt too much. Take the plunge. Ooh. Huh. How strange. There's a much bigger fall than you remember. Just how far down does this staircase go? Certainly a ground floor somewhere, though. Your mangled corpse is smeared all over it. By the way, that wasn't a very impressive jump. Let's just pretend you slipped, shall we? But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. All right. Yay, you're dead. All right, I still got the plunger and the screwdriver and the small key and the rubbish. to do now we ain't got a lot of options this is a we feel safe here this is a fucking adventure game which means we're gonna get stuck in no time maybe we can open this with a fucking screwdriver huh look at that B blindly plunge the screwdriver into the tiny gap and jiggle it around until the mechanism springs loose looks like there was a usb cable stuck in it Woo! Maybe we could use that on the fucking lamp shit. Doesn't even fit. Oh. All right, what else we got? Keep the fucking lights on. Play some video games. Wouldn't Hexen and Heretic be Dome with a sword? Nine hours later, you didn't beat your high score. God damn it. Make the bed. Eh, can't be bothered. What's the point? Use the USB cord on the lamp. No? Alright, well, I think we're stuck. Don't open that shit. No, you heard, uh, the cat in the game. Use the USB cable. Yeah, that's 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 an adventure game. Just use the remote control on the window. Just use the USB cable on the fucking stairs. Alright. Let's climb down.
Longest USB cable ever. Snake Eater. What a thrill. <laughs> Looks like a door, but it's just a drawing. What a thrill. We got a living room, kitchen. Front door, but it's just a drawing. Thick crust of dark veins running down the wall. What is this stuff? Your head hurts. All right, living room hype. Large knife on the table, the sharp end is stuck deep into the wood. Remove it? Yeah, I like sharp things. After a series of mechanical shutters, you hear a scurrying noise coming from upstairs. Who knows what it could have been? Your head hurts. You're starting to feel sleepy. Let's see what's on. Channel 69. Oh. Well, you found a place to sit, or rather it found you. Your bones are pounded into dust on impact. Your death is quick, but it isn't pretty. Strange. You don't remember your couch being so heavy. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Yeah, you're dead. <clears throat> Hint. Seats are for sitting in, not standing under. Fine. Just fucking fine. There are no walls, only chains. Get the knife. I already have the knife. Looking at it makes you feel very sleepy. Well, that's fucking weird. <sighs> Can I use a knife on the front door? Try and cut your way through the door, but the knife just isn't strong enough. Besides, you don't want to ruin the blade. Now right, we're going to the kitchen. We're gonna make a sandwich. You just leave the fucking lights on. I'm sure, there won't be anything terrifying in here. Looks like something's cooking. Massive iron pot on the oven. It looks heavy. The pot is boiling violently. You can feel occasional tiny flecks of scalding hot water. You try and turn off the heat, but nothing seems to happen. Remove the lid? Yeah, it seems ready. Oh no! Ah, oh, jeez, Louise. Your delicate fingers are no match for red hot metal. The heat makes you drop the heavy lid immediately, and the entire pot collapses straight onto you. The burns are so serious, you can't even get yourself up from the ground. Your agonizing death takes hours. And hours. And hours. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Yay! This is Shut In. It's one of them, uh... It's an adventure game. Horror, adventure, trial and error. But, you know, it doesn't really punish you for fucking up. It just, it actually rewards you for fucking up by describing your horrible death. 
The microwave is sealed shut. The buttons don't move. In fact, the door isn't even real. This is basically just a big plastic box. Huh. There's a knife on it? No? Cupboard doors won't budge an inch. Something's barricading them from inside. There's a screwdriver on it? No? There's a plunger on it. No? There's a plunger on the pot. Hey, you firmly attach the plunger and remove the heavy lid. The pot is completely empty inside. It's not even wet. But there is a tiny gray button at the bottom. Push the button. Yeah. Fucking push that shit. What was that noise? Sounds like it came from under the sink. Nothing in the cupboard. Can't even see the back of the cupboard. You don't know how deep it goes. In fact, it looks quite roomy in there. Do you want to climb inside? Oh yeah, seems cozy. Let's go. There's a familiar smell coming from the oven. It's stinking out the whole room. You can't get it open with your bare hands. It's an unpleasant smell coming from inside. It's recognizable, but you can't quite put your finger on it. Turn on the oven. Let's get cooking. Oh. That's what the smell was. It was gas. You know it was familiar. What a strange thing to have forgotten. You must feel very silly. It only took the tiniest spark to blow the whole room to smithereens. Needless to say, you didn't survive the blast. The only smell now is your crispy, obliterated carcass. Mmm, tasty. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. The cupboard is mostly bare, but there's a lighter right at the back. Pick it up. Yep. Got a lighter. Nothing in the fridge. Push the button. I already pushed the button. Get in the cupboard. Microwave has definitely seen better days, but it seems perfectly functional. Hmm. Nothing in the cupboard. Fridge door is missing and there's thick ice covering the inside. Also, there's a spatula in there, frozen solid. You couldn't possibly pull it out by hand. I have a lighter. Oh. Gas. Well, let's turn off the gas first and then... And then maybe we can uh, use the lighter on the spatula. Obliterated carcass. How much you want to bet there's already a band called that? Let's let's check. Obliterated carcass. Metallum. Mortis. No, unfortunately. Well, you can trademark it right now. There is carcass. And there is obliterated. But there's no obliterated carcass. Let's try again. Did we get our lighter? Yes, we did. Okay, go in the inside the cupboard. Nice and cozy. What's up, Tiro? More band jokes? Band jokes. Good band jokes. All right, can we turn this shit off? That didn't work. Combine both bands to form a supergroup. Oh, that's that's not a that's a, that's a terrible idea. Ow, cat! Ow! Ow! 
Ow. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh, there we go. There you are. There's the kitty cat. All right. You're going to be good now? Probably not. He's going to sneeze. I'm going to go back in there again. What are we gonna do? Use the plunger on the on the stove now? We're gonna try everything and then fucking die. How about I try the knife? Try and slice your way through the ice, but it's far too thick to do any lasting damage. This thing is sharp, but it's pretty flimsy. Use the plunger on the fridge. Nah. Functional microwave. Okay, I got the lighter, so maybe we can't actually go back except by dying, so there has to be something we could do here. They wouldn't soft lock me here. Screwdriver on the oven. Needs elbow grease. Shit. Will cat behave? I would look good. I will look not good. Definite lies. Hey, Captain. Hey, 11 hour stream so far. Oh. Ow, kitty. Ow. Ow. Tiro doesn't like music. Oh, no. My mom doesn't like music. I mean, she likes a couple of certain things. She likes that one, that one opera, operatic fucking guy who got real popular, Bonelli or some shit. He was probably on American Idol or something, Bo, Botelli, but Bocelli. You know who I'm talking about, right? I like that guy, and I like hymns. She likes hymns. She likes church hymns. But that's it. Like, she doesn't like music. She just likes... A couple of things. We can't go back. Son of a bitch. So the only way is to go through the thing. And so there has to be something we can do in the other room. But I'm just, is this gonna blow me up again? No, not Pavarotti. Andrea Bocelli, yeah, that guy. I know what I need to do. But everything I do just blows me up, so we're just going to try everything on everything. We're going to try the remote control on the window next because this is an adventure game, so you got to try everything on everything. It does not going to make sense. It's just going to be we're just going to try everything on everything until something works. Because even though this is a unique horror game, it's also a fucking adventure game, isn't it? 
Yes, it is. Let's use the small key on the oven. That's not how oven doors work. Let's use the plunger on the oven. Let's use a screwdriver on the oven. Let's try the knife on the oven. Do the same fucking thing again. Try some random shit again. I think I already tried everything on the microwave. I already tried everything on the oven. Try the Is that you, Daddy? fucking screwdriver on the fridge. Was that it? Hi, Redbeard. That was it. We got the fucking spatula. Oh my fucking god. We got the spatula. Use the spatula on the oven. It works. The one thing I didn't do. Alright, now do we use the, uh... Alright, let's go inside. Nice and warm. Nice and warm oven. All this gas is making you very sleepy. You try to carry on, but you're feeling dizzy and sluggish. You probably shouldn't exert yourself too much. Have a quick rest. No, push on! You shake it off. You can hear something move around in the dark. Wax. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Now, we're gonna try using a lighter on the wax. Oh, now we're moving. With a bit of patience, you melt through the thick wax holding the chains in place until they can't take the weight of the metal. They fall away, unblocking the door. There's a long, dark corridor inside the fridge. Get inside. No turning back now. Looks like a hallway. There's drawings all over the walls. All I want to do is fix that lamp and read the note upstairs. You're dumb. Alright, uh. Use the spatula on the front door. Give it a shot. Bye. But you're wasting your time. After a lot of work, you finally manage to scrape away the last of the strange wall material. Underneath is your front door. Looking at it makes your head hurt. After all that effort, you're quite exhausted. Maybe you should take a rest. Maybe you should shut the fuck up. I don't want to watch some television. I don't want to sit down. door is still locked. You should turn back. Use the screwdriver. You attempt to force the lock open with your screwdriver, but thankfully your front door is more secure than that. Use the small key. Tiny key won't fit the lock. You should probably throw it away. I don't know how. Use the knife. Yeah. We need to find a key. We must escape this nightmare. Let's go back up.
Knife the strange lump, yes! That was messy. But it looks like that lump isn't a problem anymore. There's a knife sticking out of the lump in your bed. Doesn't seem to be in the best of shape. Pull it out. Take the knife. Got the ruined knife. Although there was a lot of resistance. And all of this thick black sludge. I can't have done the blade any favors. I want to check on your knife. How do I check on it? What does that mean? Alright, so... I'm gonna go out here. We're gonna try the ruined light knife on the plug socket. I can't look at it, I don't know how. Pry the plug socket away from the wall with one quick motion. It snaps off with a flash and a bang. It's a good thing you weren't touching it. A burning smell lingers in the air. Though it still doesn't cover that weird hallway smell. There's a toothbrush nestled inside, wrapped in a cradle of stinking metal melted plastic. It's completely clean. Get the toothbrush. Came from the bathroom. I don't care. Use the lighter to see what it says. It's just a phallic sketch. Somebody drew a dick. Your name is written underneath. A self-portrait, perhaps. Oh, and the number 57 is written in the corner, but you don't recognize the handwriting. Okay. Passed out in the fridge IRL with a wedge of moldy cheese in his mouth. You mean the cat? Probably. I'm determined to beat this game now. Thoughts on Doom Eternal getting nominated for Game of the Year award. Hi, Frank. Some, hey, Kitty. Where are you going? What are you playing with? You're playing with the with the Kitty first aid kit. That's great. Don't cut yourself on it. It should win Game of the Year if everybody likes it. Open the door. Mirrors are broken. There's glass everywhere. Ow. <laughs> the sink and mirror are surprisingly clean. The sink is in perfect working order. There isn't a scratch on it. You stare into the mirror and your gaunt, sickly face tears back. You barely recognize yourself these days. There are deep, deep dark creases all over your face. Sweat and dirt cling to every crack. <sighs> it's a shameful sight, but it can't be much worse than what's underneath. But you may as well try, right? Wash your face. Scrub a duck up. It should win Game of the Year because a billion people love it and have a great time with it. If that many people love it, it deserves it. I still don't want to play it. Uh oh. Clean or not. 
You're not great to look at, Moon. At least when it was covered in dirt, you had an excuse. Maybe you shouldn't have bothered. But at least you washed your face. Congratulations, I guess. This narrator's a dick. He sounds like me. Anything else I could do here? Toothbrush. Your mouth is dry and fuzzy. Days of grime cover your teeth and tongue. You should really sort it out. Brush your teeth. You do the best you can. Your mouth feels cleaner. But on closer inspection, the rot and decay are so severe. It'll take a lot more work to fix that mouth he is. Better than nothing, I guess. Congratulations. Rubbish. Well, I brushed my teeth and washed my face. Lighter. Spatula. Scrape away with your trusty spatula, but you fail to even scratch the oddly pristine sink. Plunger. Look, don't sass me, game, alright? I gotta try everything on everything. The ruined knife on the sink. The knife is completely ruined. The blade is far too dull and warped to be of any use. No, didn't do anything. All right. Fifty-seven. That's all I know. Still a faint noise coming from inside. It's probably nothing. Black sludge everywhere. He's telling me to, he tells me to check on it and to look at it. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Alright, so we got a Rowan knife. Maybe we go back downstairs. That's all we got though, right? Rowan knife. Can't go in the fridge anymore. Living room still open. Game. Shit. Fuck. Damn it, game. Can hope it's saved. Fuck. Well, there you go. That shut in. It crashed and there's no save. Shit in. Yeah, that's a fucking shame. It's a shame. 
That's what I just said. It's a shame. <laughs> Fuck, man. We're going to speed run. See what happens. Chill back there. Oh, I need to brush my hair and get a bite to eat. And some fresh air outside. Get some rubbish. Where are you going, cat? stop playing this game probably in like 10 minutes but we're gonna we're gonna get a little ways and save and then maybe come back later with the green screen not really I mean my green screen is nailed to the wall so he could scratch it a little bit which wouldn't do nothing he's not massively destructive of anything he just bats at things and you know he, he doesn't really he doesn't really strongly fuck with anything it's just little bats and scratches and nothing nothing serious you know at all can't walk past that, gotcha. Gotta turn it off first. Don't, don't mess with my, my, yeah. Be good. Switch it off, all right. Bathroom, we need to get the plunger. Ow. Ow. Get it. Can't wait for you to grow up. Few months from now, you're gonna be calm, kitty. Nice and calm, and we're gonna name you something other than Rocket. That's right. All right, we gotta get the door hand. We gotta plunge the. Uh, I think we gotta plunge this. Plunge the sink. Now we gotta plunge the, uh, the bathtub. Then we get the door handle, then we get the screwdriver. Bugs. Door handle. 
screwdriver, and go into the bedroom. Use the screwdriver on the drawer, get the USB cable, go downstairs. Adventure games are short if you know exactly what to do. Did I get it? Yeah. Let's go. So we need to go get the knife from the living room. Then we go to the kitchen, probably. So he climbs the curtains a little bit. What a thrill. But it doesn't climb the green screen because it's like against the wall and it doesn't like wave or anything. I'm sure he would climb the green screen if it was wavy. If it was breezy, you know? But it ain't. It's fine. Alright, living room. We gotta get the spatula before we can do the front door. We still need a key to the front door. Won't do anything. Get the knife. And go, 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 go. Right to the vault. I mean, kitchen. Push the button. Grab the lighter. Nothing in the fridge. Microwave is nothing. Go in there. Use the screwdriver on the spatula. Use the spatula. On the oven. I don't think I figured out what to do with the microwave, but that's okay. Let's get in there. I don't think this game has soft locks. I didn't mean to hit, take a rest. I'm gonna die. That's the last nap you'll ever have. Hope it was worth it, but don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Oh, I just chose the first thing. All right, save me means save. Okay. Now, this time we have saved. I didn't know. Th I didn't know that's what save me meant. All right. Does save me mean save game? No, it means save me. This is fucking terrible. This is fucking terrible. Push on. Shake it off. Shows the, uh, what was it, the lighter? Yeah, the lighter on the fridge. Melt the wax, open the fridge. There wasn't nothing else in here, right? Looks 
Looks like we gotta go into the uh, fridge there immediately. They rip you to shreds in a frenzy. You feel them laughing as they scrape your bones clean. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Yeah, it does suck, Redbeard. From a community standpoint, it's pretty shitty. But they don't care about that shit. Into the oven you go. No rest. Little beats of arts. Alright, we gotta do this immediately. We're going to die once the lights go out. Frick fur! Certainly, young bonker, certainly. But you know, don't blame Bethesda, blame capitalism. Give it a shot. This narrator's trying to stop me. I don't want to take a rest. But maybe I should watch some television. Fifty-seven. The fuck was that? Show this door. Door to somewhere. Something smells delicious. Crumpled piece of paper through the oven door. Clean it up. Scrawled note. Something squirming inside the microwave, but it smells fantastic. Let's get cooking! Four twenty. What's the number? O one colon something. I need another piece of paper.
Hey, Flesh Shaper. Rex! What's a Rex? Alright, so we can go over here. Do we use the spatula? We use the spatula on everything, dude. Alright, we got the toothbrush. We still need the hairbrush. So number 57, all right. Bathroom. Demon thinking of buying tickets to a Demon Hunter live stream. They're selling tickets to a live stream. Hey, if it works, good for them, I suppose, right? Yeah, live gig, but you're not there. You're watching a video. <laughs> I should just fucking stream it on Twitch. Get paid in bits. Donations, you know? Just go on Twitch and click on the music channel or something. I don't think they're gonna put out a map maker at all, Redbeard. That game is too complicated for a map maker. Alright, time to go stab this dude up. Maybe we'll just die here. Let's see. Stroke it gently. Soft. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> As you're trying to read it, it's like. Dah! It tore your spine right out through your throat. Must have been asleep, but you rudely interrupted. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Whoops, you're fucking dead. Save. The fucking game. Alright. Stab this motherfucker. That was messy. Sequel to Battle Kittens for Super Forces. Yeah, play it. Try it. Give it a shot. Five minutes with the celebrity through a Zoom call. Damn. A whole convention being hosted virtually. Tickets at the front door and hosting so many visitors at once was a challenge to the mainframe hardware. Wow. Nine hours later, it's even worse than you remember. Any more rubbish? All right, so.
can't use it there. Can't use it there. Can't use it there. So all we have left is the living room. Or, yeah, the door to somewhere. We need the number for the second fucking thing. Try old one, nothing. <sighs> How would I get the other number from? <sighs> a Peter Weller to appear on his show, huh? Just pay him to say certain lines and then edited it into the show. Not a bad idea. Uh, 57, yeah, but maybe now 01? I'm gonna die. Yeah. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Can't use items on these things. Hmm. So nothing there. We still need a hairbrush. And we need the other code for the microwave. Wonder if it's possible to soft lock. So far it hasn't been. It says there's, there was still a noise, right? It's telling me to check on the knife.
You can't see it, chat. But look at this. Do you see the knife? You see what it says? It says 19. Son of a bitch. Working on full on mod support. Just highly doubt it. Plus, mod support might not mean map making, you know? I mean, they might do a snap map kind of thing. You know, the levels in Doom 2016, they weren't like the most complex shit, right? They weren't trying to be like real world locations. They were like, it was all tech based. You can, you can snap map tech base. You can't really snap map Doom Eternal. It'd have to be something completely different. Or the mod support might just mean like weapons and uh, graphics and stuff like that. Alright, it's gotta be 0119. Please work. Fuck. Maybe 19 on the television. Point 0.19 it says. Point 0.19. Maybe it's 19 minutes, 01 seconds. It's not, but try 19.01. Nope, we gotta go try 19 on the TV. Maybe that'll give us the number. I don't know what the fuck the 19 is. Oh, the front door key. Can we leave? Have we beaten the fucking game? Let's go. I don't want to eat. I want to leave. It's the key to your front door. Your heart races just holding it. Maybe you should stay inside. Fuck that. Get the fuck out of this shithole. You should stay inside. No, I need to leave. Just slide the key into the lock and turn it with a click. Your head hurts. The door is unlocked. You don't want to go outside. You want to stay here. Fuck you, I'm leaving. Go. Well, the door is unlocked. Looks like it's time for some lovely fresh air. You know, it certainly is cozy in here. Why would you ever want to go outside anyway? Really? You still want to go outside? I need to get out. Look, you don't know what you're thinking. Clearly, you're confused. It's been an awfully difficult day. You need rest. You need a lie down. Your hair is a total mess. You haven't eaten a thing. Don't go outside. Maybe try again tomorrow. When you're feeling better. Let me out. Wait, please. Just think about this. You can't leave. You're not ready to leave. You have nothing. You are nothing. There's nothing for you out there. This is your home. This is where you belong. It's time to leave. <sighs> oh. 
Oh dear. That didn't go very well, did it? At least you tried. None of this is worth anything. Can't say I didn't warn you. Maybe some things just aren't that simple. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Hooray! Nothing happened! Well, that's it. That's the game. Hope it wasn't too disappointing. See how you did, shall we? Took you 31 minutes to finish the game. You died a total number five times. You should come to five out of 13 possible threats. You found 13 out of 15 items. I mean, I succumbed to a lot more threats than that, but this is the second little run here. You wasted nine hours playing video games. You didn't even beat your high score. You didn't find the secret ending. You didn't unlock the... Fuck you, rocket launcher. You were impatient. You raced through the game at quite a speed. Who knows what you must have missed. You were reckless. You really didn't think things through, do you? It's a wonder you made it this far at all. You were bored. You didn't really experiment much, and you kept all of your thinking firmly inside the box. You must not be much fun. Basically, you're a bad person. Everything you've done is pointless. But thanks for playing. Thanks, Kale O'Sullivan. All right. <laughs> Made with RPG Maker MV. Wow. That's cool. You can make something like this with just RPG Maker. Well, all in all, that game is fantastic. It's not as good as uh, Nobody Home uh, and uh, whatever that other one was that I played by that one guy. Good luck out there. Try not to be too hard on yourself. That is a fantastic game. I think Bo should play it. I'll try to get Bo to play that. RPG Maker costs 50 bucks. Will shut in. Shut in on Steam. Cost five dollars. Wait, no, that's shut I. Where's shut in? Shut in on Steam. Five dollars as well. You should play it and see if you can get your uh, get your hairbrush and see if you can figure out the code for the fucking microwave. Only missed two items though. We just gotta move on. <laughs> 